he that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. This is our faith. This is our belief. Good morning, my dearest friends, and welcome once again to this Sunday's Reflection. Today is the fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time, and the theme for our reflection today is Jesus' authority over unclean spirit. In the Gospel of today, taken from the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 1, from verse 21 to 28, the author relates to us the authority of Jesus in casting out unclean spirits from the possessed man. Jesus performed an exorcism over the possessed man and delivered him. And this particular action of Jesus this demonstration of Jesus' authority raises some questions within us. One of those questions is, does the devil exist? Do you believe in the existence of devil and demons? My brothers and sisters, there are various dimensions to answering these questions. But I would like to underline three. The first one is some people do not believe in the existence of the devil. Especially in our modern world today, where science and technology seem to have taken over everything. An author once says that we have medicine and we have clinics and so why do we still believe in the existence of devil that it is only the remnant or leftover of the medieval era and so for this group of people the devil does not exist for the second group of people they affirm the existence of the devil but they go as far as attributing to the devil the power that he does not have and so because of their belief and the power they have given to the devil they become helpless victims fear takes over them and so these ones not only affirming the presence of evil but gives the devil the power he does not have but the middle point between these two extremes, the balanced position, is that the devil or unclean spirit exists. And that is the teaching of the church. We believe in the existence of the devil. However, the power of God exceeds that of the devil. Jesus has that power. To dominate and to be possessed of anyone who is possessed by the devil. Jesus' power and authority is over all. And so, my brothers and sisters, it is a fact that there are evil spirits, that there are devils. But do you believe in the authority of Jesus? And that brings us to an important part of this particular liturgical celebration today. That is the power and authority of Jesus. We see this authority demonstrated in Jesus relieving and delivering this man who was possessed by unclean spirits because he has power over them. He is the Holy One of God. Even the devil himself confesses it. 
and the holiness of God makes the devil to tremble. And so my brothers and sisters, why we may affirm that there are evil spirits or the existence of the devil, we should immediately know that God's power is more than that. And St. John tells us in his first letter, chapter 4, verse 4, that he that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. This is our faith. This is our belief. And we share in this authority and power of Jesus to be victorious over the forces of evil. Finally, my dear brothers and sisters, why we may not see cases of possession in many places, many of us are still possessed by unclean spirits. And what are these unclean spirits? Wherever there is greed instead of generosity, wherever there is envy, instead of contentment, wherever there is lust, instead of love, wherever there is spirit of revenge, instead of forgiveness. All these are demonstrate the presence of evil spirit in the world and in our lives. If you allow sin to dominate your life, you are allowing, you are becoming a slave to the devil and you are becoming possessed by unclean spirit. But the good news is that when you come to Jesus, when you allow Jesus into your life, his power, his authority over those forces is made manifest. And so as we celebrate this holy day, let us ask the Lord, let us invite Jesus into our lives, into the situation of our families, into the situation of our country, that he will manifest, exercise his power and authority over the forces of evil in our personal lives and in the situation of our nation. May God bless you now and always.